guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 18 of Star for Twinkle Pretty here, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. God, I forgot how much I like this one. Ah. No, 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 not that. Manga. <laughs> it's basically almost like Shonen Jump or the people who do the clamp people for Car Captain Sakura and a whole bunch of other things. <laughs> My heart. Mm. Oh, why is it hot in here? It was cold like a second ago, and now it's like freaking hot. Ugh. I'm about to deal with it for 25 minutes. It's okay. <laughs> I got a feeling she'll come next week. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> she couldn't come up with ideas, yeah. Got that writer's block. Mm. I know that feeling. Well, I mean, if the girls at the comic, um, the manga, the other manga anime that they did, I forgot, it's a comic something. Um, if they can do it, your mom can do it. Mm 
Okay, what are your readers into, though? Because then we can narrow it down. Uh, okay, nice to meet you, Mayo. Oh, I kind of try. No, of course. Uh, oh shit, that looks like, yeah, that is. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't remember the name of that series, but I know that series. Uh. You just need some help, that's all. <laughs> there you go. You just kind of messed it up. Oh, God, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, I already knew making a manga like has taken hard work because of the one anime that they did on manga, but. Mm. <laughs> Basically, he's kind of like Ichika's dad, except, you know, whatever he does is different from Ichika's mom, because Ichika's mom was like a doctor.
Oh my god, so fucking sweet. That's parenting done right. Thank you, Soul, for this one episode. And then watch, this is going to be all, like, after this episode, it's just going to be nothing but downhill. In between this and um, Elena's episode on her family. I think, like, they're both up there for really good episodes focusing on parents. And still doing lessons for kids. Because, I mean, still, we ain't gonna really know anything about freaking Lala's parents if she has them. I do freaking know. <gasps> So happy. Hmm? Well, maybe something came up. And It just reminds me of like this one manga that I read. It was only one chapter long, and till this day, I literally pray that it gets more stuff, but I don't think it is. And it's by the person who did Bleach, and who knows. No. Don't say that. True. Great. So are we now doing like this? Okay. I think we are. Because I don't think Elena's episode did something like this. Where she was technically the leader for one second. And then... And see, she's the only one singing. No. Elena's episode didn't even do this. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. From what I remember. No. So you want to start. Okay. Makes sense.
Mm-hmm. So of course, it's going to be hard on her because that is her mom. No, 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 no. Show her that. Show her. Of course. Yeah. And everyone keeps bullying you, tell them to kick rocks. But to her, it's not worthless. What are you growling for? Oh my god! <laughs> Cody, come here. Come here. Come here. What's your growling for, dude? No. Cody, come here. Gotcha. What's your growling for, bub? Little Timmy stuck in the well. Oh, maybe next time. My thing is, in the end, she's probably going to, yeah, mm -hmm. she's going to use that as inspiration. Mm -hmm. 
No, no. It, yeah, he loves it. That was freaking sweet. What the? Cody, stop. Oh, I told you. I knew it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I had a weird feeling that she wasn't going to come. She wasn't going to officially be a freaking pretty care until next week. So, I mean, it makes sense now. But <clears throat> I still got questions on her. And hopefully, like, when she officially starts being one, I get a lot of my answers to my questions. Like, mm. But it was a good episode. I mean... It did, this episode really just gave me feels towards that series. I just don't remember the name of it. It's, you know what, let me look it up real quick. Um, anime. No, go to my anime list. My anime list. I need to go back to last year's springtime outfits. Because it reminded me a lot of, I just, I don't remember the damn name because it used to be on my previous freaking channel and I'm like, I know it, I just don't remember it right now. So give me one second. If my stupid freaking phone! Is that my phone? No. Summer. No. Was it in spring? There we go. Comic Girls. Okay. So, yes, this whole episode, number one, literally just reminded me of Comic Girls in a nutshell. Of being a person who does manga for a living and having to deal with the ups and downs of everything. And, you know, no matter how many times you go and you ask your, um, not only the supervisor, but someone who agrees, like, yes, I like your manga, or no, or you can do something better. It, it's literally that. If no, if you haven't seen Comic Girls, I highly suggest watching it. It's like 12, maybe 13 episodes long. You could probably finish it in about a day. Cody! Hush, I'm almost done. I'll let you out in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's like it was a really interesting episode about finally focusing on her family for once. C Cody, just come here. Come here, honey. Just come here. I'm almost done, baby. Um, focusing on her family for once because, I mean, there's other episodes where they do kind of focus on Hikari's, like, grandfather or a little bit of her grandmother, but, like, not really until this episode on her mom. Plus, you had the Elena uh, family episode. Monica's kind of, with hers, is really more of her father, as I said, rather than her mother. Because I do want to know more about her mom. But it's just when the timing's right. And right now, the timing isn't correct. Because we're about to focus Cody's stop um, into the Blue Cat saga more. And about her finally being the last cure. Heck, I've already seen um, pictures of her, and then they did an interview of her, I think, last week because of the fact that they're getting ready to show her and such. I mean, her voice actress is freaking talented as heck because I think I'm watching, this is now my third, third, fourth, or fifth show with her in it. And if you've seen, if you're currently watching Carol on Tuesday, if you've seen Overlord, 
or if you've seen Idol Master Cinderella Girls, those are the shows she's currently in. And I highly suggest literally possibly watching Idol Master Cinderella Girls because she has the best VA. Her character is amazing. And she's interesting. I think she's also in Ben today. I don't really remember. Um, but this is just like her year because she's in a lot of stuff that I've been watching recently. And I'm hoping that she does this character justice because I think she's not the first person from the of like the Adam Master series to be in this series. That really goes to, um, unless there's other ones before her, that's Sorami who voiced um, Hachan for uh, Maho Girls. And then they probably had more. I'm not 100% sure. But I would just have to look ish up. But like I said, it was a really good episode to finally focus on something with a mangaka and just going on the backstory of that. I'm kind of hoping with like more things later on in the future, maybe by episode 25 or like the second half of the series, they go more in depth into Hikaru's mom's like series and how good it's going to be and if she'll have any more ideas for it and what could possibly happen next. But then uh, like possibly not because with, a 49, 48, 49 episode series, they may give the parents, like, an episode that's, like, count could be, like, two or three or four episodes that's specifically about them. I mean, Ichika's dad had, I think, three episodes focused on him. We had an episode finally focused on Ichika's mom and her. Um, there were several episodes that kind of focused on Hime's mom and then there was one episode that focused on what's her face's mom as well but yeah I'm just hoping that they continue doing the parents justice even though it's not really about them it's about the dang kids but it's like if you're trying to do a show right also like have the family have screen time just don't give it like one or two freaking episodes but yeah other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 18 of Star Twinkle Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all possibly next Monday because I'm literally hoping that this next episode comes out on Sunday. Like, literally after I'm done watching what I'm going to be watching on Sunday. And I never really know because, like, I was up around, like, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. And this was up, and I was gonna go ahead and watch it earlier this morning, but I fell asleep. And I was like, well, oh well, I'll do it in the morning. But if it doesn't come out by Sunday for me, I'll have it out by Monday afternoon or whenever I can. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!